Hey, I'm Mark Brown from Editor's Keys, and in this video, we're checking out this cool new gadget that Moza have just sent us. This is the Moza Slypod E. Hey, welcome to the video. So essentially, this is a few products in one. This is a monopod and a motorized slider in one device. Now, it's actually really cool because it just fits on any tripod or you can use it as a standalone product. It has a range of around 27 centimeters and it can take a payload weight of four kilograms on the horizontal and nine kilograms on the vertical. And it costs around 270 pounds here in the UK. So let's take a look at it and see if it's any good. Okay, so to start off with, this has a great build quality. It comes with a nice case and separate little pockets for these add-ons. You get the slide pod, tripod legs, and a mount to fit your camera onto. So to set this up, you can download an app from the App Store, and this is called the Moza Master. And this lets you control the Slypod E extremely simply, and it's really easy to use. However, you can also use the buttons on the side of the Slypod as well, which is good. I know for me sometimes I like to get everything set up as quick as possible without the need to get my phone out and connect a load of cables or adapters. And that's the beauty with this. You can get precise control with the app or if you need to do a quick slide, you can do that just using the slider itself. So there's a few ways you can use the slide pod. It's very easy to set up and you can either attach it to a tripod, then use this mount to attach your camera to, or you can use the tripod legs that are given to you and attach this either to the bottom or this area here and have it really low to the ground. Just remember to make sure you counterweight the slider so that it doesn't tip over. I'd always recommend having someone with you just in case it does start to tip. Once you have your preferred position, all you do is turn it on. Then you have a plus button and a minus button. Press it once and you're good to go. It will start to slide forward. If you press it again, it will move faster and faster. The more you press it, the quicker it goes. The one negative about this product, and I'm sure other filmmakers have also pointed it out, is that it's a little bit noisy when used. So be careful if you're using this whilst filming audio, as to be honest, I don't think you can really do this unless you want your sound mixer or boom operator to be a little bit angry at you. But if you are not using sound or recording sound, then use this to get some real nice B-roll shots. And you can't easily do this with a gimbal or a regular slider. Now to bring the slider back, simply use the minus button in a similar manner to the way you use the plus buttons. For more of a granular control, I definitely recommend checking out the app to control your exact parameters. Now with gimbals and manual sliders out there, is it actually worth buying? So let's get into what's good about this. First of all, it lifts both vertically and horizontally, so you can get a huge range of shots with this. What I would say is that it's a little limited in distance, but you know, don't let that put you off. The slide pod is really great for some macro shots, shots that you just couldn't achieve on a gimbal. Now, is it worth the money? I think yes. We've started to use this a lot now. It's lightweight, it's weatherproofed, and it's perfect for when we do product shots as well as when we're out and about. It's just great for getting that perfect, nice cinematic B-roll. There's also an option to get time lapses with a slider movement, which is extremely good to watch. Adding just a simple slider movement to any of your shots can really change the effect a huge amount. I've heard a lot of filmmakers just recommending gimbals all the time to get your shots, but sometimes a slider shot just simply looks better. You don't get the up and down movements you sometimes get with a gimbal. Plus you can choose the exact timing on a motorized device like this, something you just can't do with a gimbal. Now we have got a regular slider here in the office too, and this is a manual one, but the problem with this is that it's very hard to match shots perfectly. With a motorized gimbal like this, you can easily get every shot looking perfect every time. So there we go, I hope that's given you a good overview of the Slypod E. I really like it because it's very, very lightweight and it's very versatile. You can just use it as a static monopod or you can use it as a motorized slider. Now, I was quite surprised by how light this was. We do have a manual slider in the office and it's actually really, really heavy. So you tend to not take it with you on the go. This can actually just sit in the side compartment of any camera bag. And if you don't want to use it, you know, you don't need to. But the fact that it's so light means it's super versatile for filming indoors and outdoors. Now I'll put a link in the description below if you want to check it out and we will be using this in more videos so we will feature this a bit more too. So if you've got any questions let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video.